Hi everyone, my name's Emmy Lou, and today we are going to draw an owl. I just want to show you quickly some birds that I drew, um, well painted. The cute little one there, so sweet. And then we've got a stalk, which I thought was quite cool. It's quite fun to just practice drawing different things that you see during the day, especially if you're on holiday. Like just get out your sketchbook if you've got one and just start drawing. Doesn't matter what it looks like, it's just really good practice to start drawing. Okay, so we're gonna do an owl. An owl. Okay, all you need, pencil. I've got a pen just so I can show you. Pencil, paper, and some chalks. If you don't have chalks, don't worry, just any colouring pencils or paint. <clears throat> and excuse me, because I have the like the worst hay fever, you'd not be not believe honestly. So if I make a bit of noise, just ignore me. All is good. Okay. So first you need like a rainbow. So we're just gonna do on the top of the paper rainbow shape. It's portrait, not landscape. So landscape's the other way of the paper. So we're doing portrait. So you've got your rainbow. You've got your rainbow and you're going to touch that bit of the rainbow and you're going to go. Then you're going to do the other side of the rainbow. It's like a Harry Potter owl. That's what we're aiming for. If you don't like Harry Potter, that's fine. We can call it an other owl. So we're just going to you're going to do this lightly. If you can, you're going to go. A bit like, I don't know why it reminds me of a carrot. Interesting. So just a line there and a line there. Now, you're going to float this line now. You're going to float. So touch the end here and don't press down. You're just going to fly as though you're about to draw a, tri a V. So fly, 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 then go down. If that's really hard, just think I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yes and then draw and then you're doing the same with the other side so I'm not I'm not I'm not and then you're gonna at the end do the nose so you're gonna do like a baby rainbow a little baby rainbow then you're gonna make that into like a peanut shape a peanut depends what kind of peanut you're eating I guess reminds me of an almond for some reason so then we're going to just join this and this, but it's going to be fluffy, like a fluffy owl. So you're just going to do this. Touch the top here and you're going to do, you know, like wibbly wobbly lines. Do that and then, and then you go from this side and go. So you're joining it up. If that's really difficult, it doesn't matter. If it's a little bit wobbly, it's fine. It probably looks quite cool, actually, if it's a bit uh, wobbly. So then we're going to do the face. So you're going to go touch this little bit under here. So normally you could touch that bit and float, float, float down, and then you've got this bit. If you don't know where it is, just somewhere on there is fine. So you're going to go, and then, don't have to make the noise. It's all good. And then you've got your eyes. So big, chunky eye. You're going to go, and then because they've got to be slightly symmetrical so they've got to look the same kind of size and um, it doesn't matter if they don't but just try and get them to make them look at vaguely the same size then you're going to just do inside la 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 and then la 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 then you want the pupil which is the black bit of my eye in case you're not sure what I'm doing so we're gonna go quite big this one's quite big oh there we go bit and he, his, his eyes are a bit wobbly probably because he's a little bit tired and then we're gonna touch this bit here and you're gonna go down and then here you're gonna go so it's like there so it's exactly the same ultimately it's nice it's slanted because he looks like he's perching there it looks pretty cool then on the end here you're going to go up and create a wing shape so his wings kind of like in the side he's kind of like just chilling out and then the other side we're going to show a little bit of wing okay nearly done you're nearly done oh, i always get excited when it's near the end because i just think oh my gosh it looks really cool most of the time it looks cool so then you're going to touch up here 
and you're going to go and then touch up here and go it's like you're joining up the face and then you could do this you don't have to do this but you could just go it doesn't really matter but you could just go okay then we just have to do a little line here just because we're going to color it a slightly different color and then if you want to which i think is really really fun you want to do some feathers now just think of them as long bridges is it bridges tunnels ends no you want to almost just don't worry so much because it's so easy especially as you get older to worry <laughs> totally about what you're doing but as long as you've got the owl the basic owl you're fine you know so now we're gonna get we're gonna get i'm gonna get my chalk pastels i keep buying new things i can't stop it so hopefully you've got if you don't have chalk pastels do not worry you can do this with paint you can do this watercolor so there's my beautiful chalk pastels now i am going to use my yellow first so i'm going to do like a yellowy orange so any yellowy orange you can find no i just need right okay and i'm going to do it just here it's good to use the light color first otherwise your hands get so messy in a bit of a singing mood today because it's summer holidays for most of you and also if you're an adult doing this it's just so nice to go in the garden especially on a nice day and just start drawing what you see so we're going to do that and then we're going to get some brown right i'm looking at this picture because i'm copying my picture that i drew before um so we're going to do some brown there I'm holding it from the side because it's a bit easier then. I've got some brown there, a little bit of brown love. We're gonna have brown wings. Live that dream. Brown wings. We're getting so messy already. And you can use a rubber to rub out if you do use chalk because normally it's quite a good idea. Right, so I've done a bit of brown. So it's a wing that you could do a little bit of brown there. Right, then we're going to take like a beigey colour, it looks a bit like sand, and we're going to just do quite yellow like the eyes, but we're just going to do a little bit like there, blah, blah. and then a little bit up here, Ooh, maybe a little bit there. Oh, this looks really basic, but that's, that's fine, because it is quite basic, the owl. The owl is quite basic, I'm sure he wouldn't be happy if I said that to his face but he looks lovely so we're going to do a black now before we do the black we're just going to get our one little finger our one little finger now if you don't do chalk and you're doing watercolor pencil we do it like water but i'll show you that another time maybe so we're going to get one little finger and we're just gonna smudge it's blending blending blend blend stay in the line as you blend stay in the line I'm going to Canada next week, so I am going to draw you a panda. Not that can pandas are in Canada, <laughs> but it's, it reminds me of a bear because it's kind of a, the same kind of you know look. So yeah, I'm going to draw you a panda from Canada next time. Uh, not an actual panda from Canada, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. Okay, the head is looking. Hang on, hang on, guys. But the head. The head's looking like he's a little bit bald, which is fine. <laughs> now, once we've done that, the face is quite light, but we're going to do a little bit of black. Right, with the black, you're going to do, try not to smudge because it's so easy to smudge it. The eye is black. The nose, just go round because we want it to look 3D. So when we get our one finger and smudge, still got a little bit of light in the middle. It looks really cool then. Now, got black round here. Oh, cute. Right, black there. Now, you could do black here. Uh, so quiet today, apart from me talking. And then, bit of black up there. Bit of black there. You can even do a little bubble going do it do if you want to. Why not? Why not? 
Now I'm just adding black here and there, but what you could do then is get your one little finger that's not as messy as mine, hopefully, and you could smudge it in. Gives it a really nice feeling of realism, so it makes it look more real. If that's kind of possible. Oh, my black's getting a little bit smudgy. <laughs> now I'm going to outline it just because. Why not? <laughs> so I'm going to go. I love, I mean, I love outlining things, but what you could do is when you outline it, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going a little bit fluffy in my outline, so it's not straight, and then it kind of looks kind of cool, and then you could outline the feathers, okay, that is my owl, I really, I really like him. Now I had spray paints earlier because I thought it'd be fun to spray paint the background but it, I couldn't use it in the end because it got all clogged up the nozzle with the spray so what you could do is you could choose a colour that you love so I really like turquoise but this is like a bluey colour so you could do I don't know about you but this is quite a cool effect for the background it's like squiggles, but as long as it's chunky here, so as long as you've coloured in with no gaps here, then you can squiggle out. I just think it looks quite cool because it gives the picture energy. And energy, what I mean by energy is it makes it come to life. Like it looks not as, because some pictures can look a bit like, yeah, okay. But this kind of looks like, ooh, yeah. Okay, so, and if you're feeling particularly creative, oh man, never mind, different blue. If you're feeling particularly creative, ah, you could then mix it. You could go, okay, I want a bit of green. No, I don't want green. What do I want? Purple? Oh, purple's quite cool. So you could do a bit of purple. You could go, okay, a bit of purple there. This is if you want to try and experiment. So if it's something that you, if you've drawn it and you love it and you think, oh my gosh, I don't want to spoil it, maybe don't worry about trying this out. But, I don't know, I think sometimes mistakes can be quite rewarding because then you think, wow, that looks cool. So give it a go. So that is my owl. So I'm in Canada next week. Cannot wait. Um, and I'll be drawing you a panda. And I'll try and draw you an actual bear because hopefully I won't see any in the woods. But um, yeah, i draw you a bear. And I might do it in charcoal. So I'll see you next week. Send you all lots of love. Happy drawing and painting. Mwah.